Hey folks, want to give a little overview on the uh, grid tied inverter from China if you uh, choose to use them. Now they are non-UL, um, so it's at your discretion if you want to use them and how you use them, but I'll show you how to hook them up. A little system here I did for one of my turbines in the uh, backyard I have, and um, it's a Windy Nation PMA, and uh, what I did was I got this enclosure box from work, uh, got it off a job, it's just an alarm box, and it seems to fit perfect for what I'm doing. Uh, but it's nice to have these things, a nice metal enclosure box. It keeps everything protected, uh, makes it look for a nicer job. Okay, so here what we have is we have the rectifier. There's the three-phase coming in off the turbine. There's the DC positive and the DC negative. Okay, and they simply go over into my box here. And the positive will run to a shunt in the back of that box. And that shunt uh, works my amp meter. All right, so the positive off the shunt goes to one terminal, goes through the shunt, comes off the other terminal, goes down to the positive of the grid tied inverter. The negative comes right off the rectifier and goes right to the grid tied inverter. And if you notice that over here, I have two little wires. Them two little wires are for my voltmeter. And it looks like nice and pretty when you shut the door. Everything's enclosed and it looks beautiful. Um, the dump load I haven't hooked up yet, but there's dump load terminals there. And you can simply mount them on the side of the box over here if I want. Or I can go to a battery, whatever I choose to do. Uh, up here as far as the electrical goes, I put an outlet in with my kilowatt meter. And I do have a dedicated line going through the shed. Uh, I have 220 in this shed. And the one part of the 220, I'm sorry, 240, one part of the 240, it runs my shed, which is some lights in here and um, a little bit of uh, outdoor lighting, but not much. And the other leg I haven't used. So what I did was I took that leg and used it for my grid tied inverter. So it goes straight back to my electrical panel. There's nothing else on that circuit but this uh, inverter. And this is a 10 to 30 volt inverter. You can use a 22 to 60, um, depending on your wind turbine and how it reacts. It's all trial and error. Sometimes you've got to buy two 10, um, two 10 to 30 volt inverters or two 22 to 60 volt inverters or 1,000 watt inverters. So the combination of inverters varies from turbine to turbine. Um, again, that will be something you will have to test and figure out. Um, I recommend starting out with a uh, 22 to 60 volt and see how that works for you. We've been finding that about 10 mile an hour winds, um, these Windy Nation PMAs, the Windmax PMAs, uh, the Sway of PMAs, they can all hit uh, that voltage at about 10 miles an hour. Uh, we're doing some extensive work on uh, how the rest of the inverters work, but we don't have a lot of information right now. We have to wait for this wind season to kick up, and we'll have some more. So, again, they're non-UL. Um, they are not approved by the utility, but, you know, times are tough, and we're doing what we can do with green energy, so it's a whole political game. Um, if you choose to use one of these, they do work well. Um, you can also use an outback inverter. There isn't any inverters right now. Um, for small wind, and when I say small wind, I mean in the 12 volt range, 24 volt range, uh, 48 volt range possibly. Um, ROM from Canada does make custom inverters, uh, but they start around 48 volts and they also start uh, around 1500 to $3,000 when you can get one of these for 350 bucks or you know 150 bucks or 200 bucks. So that's kind of the trade off. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. It's very simple. It's a simple system. Uh, you know, if you want to put more bells and whistles on it, you could put a Doc Watts in here or a watt meter or whatever, uh, you know, to show all your readings. But uh, this is simple enough for me. It's in my shed and uh, not getting much wind right now, so it's not even worth putting any more money into it. Uh, but that's it, guys. Just want to do a quick video to show you guys how to do this. Again, there's the rectifier and the two little wires uh, go to the voltmeter. Positive goes over to the uh, amp meter shunt. Off the shunt goes right to the grid tied inverter. And this is uh, your shunt has to match. So if you have a 50 uh, millivolt shunt, then you'll have a 50 millivolt amp meter. And if you look real right close there, it says 50 millivolt. And so does the shunt. The shunt and the meter have to match with the millivolts. Um, it doesn't matter with the uh, the voltage. Your voltage meter can be uh, pretty much anything. And again, up to the kilowatt meter, I got the cord here. All right, it just runs right on the side here and plugs into the inverter. 
and a dedicated line right back. Uh, one more thing I wanted to point out, if you look here, you notice I don't have a fuse um, on my DC side. And the reason I don't have a fuse there is because there's already a DC fuse in this inverter. So there's no sense in fusing it twice. Uh, there's a 20 amp fuse in this inverter, uh, I believe. I think it's 20 amp. Last time I took one apart was last year. But I believe it's a 20 amp fuse in there. So that's why I don't have a fuse on there. Um, I'm in no way, shape, or form going to make mega amounts of power where I have to worry about getting electrocuted or anything like that. Uh, right now, the, the turbine's not even spinning. And when it does spin, nobody's really back here anyway because it's too windy to even come back here. Uh, so I don't have a fuse. If you want to put a fuse right there between uh, the rectifier and the positive lead, uh, please do. Um, I recommend it, um, especially if you're just getting into this. Uh, but like I said, this has a fuse in it already and uh, does protect the DC side of it. Okay? All right, guys. Well, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, again, simple grid tied system for a 500 watt turbine. You can do this for a 1,000 watt turbine, uh, however you want to break it down. Uh, you can do multiple turbines like I'm doing with my other big box in my basement. Uh, but this is a pretty uh, good breakdown of the simplicity of how it can be done. All right, guys. So any questions, uh, give me a shout. Otherwise, thanks for watching.